The battlefields of the future will be more dangerous than ever. In the 21st century, there will be threats to our freedom and security like never before. But will we be ready? Battles will be fought on land and sea, but they will not be won without supremacy in the air. Enter the incredible world of 21st century combat. Air power is the dominant strategic force. It's air power that lets you influence events and respond to events quickly. It's air power that lets you fight a war without putting hundreds of thousands of people on the ground. To date, Air Force F-15s have won more than 150 dogfights against enemy fighters without a single loss. And the Navy F-18 Hornet is widely recognized as the world's best carrier-based fighter bomber. But in the future, neither the F-15 nor the F-18 will be able to survive against deadly enemy anti-aircraft missiles. Surface-to-air missiles, or SAMs, are going to represent the biggest threat. Those very formidable systems developed in Russia or China will have to be taken out of action very quickly in any future conflict. The fighter of the future will need to be stealthy to slip past enemy radar. It must be able to take out anti-aircraft installations. And it must out-dogfight any enemy fighters that get in the way. That future fighter is already here. The F-22 Raptor. The air dominance fighter of the 21st century. Developed by Lockheed Martin, this advanced tactical fighter has been designed to be the first plane to cross enemy lines, clearing the way for all other forces. The F-22 is both an air-to-air -air fighter and an air-to-surface fighter, so it can drop precision weapons. That means it'll be able to go in early in a conflict, knock out all the air defenses that an enemy has, and also take out certain ground targets, and open the door for all the U.S. forces, whether they're ground vehicles or other aircraft, to come in and continue the fight. The development of the F-22 Raptor first began in 1985, when the Air Force requested proposals for an advanced tactical fighter jet to replace the F-15 air superiority fighter. Military planners feared that the F-15 would not be able to counter new air and ground threats on the horizon. The result was the creation of the F-22. The capability of the aircraft is a quantum leap above what exists right now, and it's going to take air power and revolutionize it into a, a whole new world. In the battles of the future, stealth will be critical for all new fighters to avoid being seen by enemy radar. Non-stealthy aircraft just will not survive in the uh, air battles of tomorrow. Stealth technology was created to counter advances in radar. Radar works by sending out radio waves and measuring the amount reflected back to determine the distance, speed, and course of an object. But stealth aircraft are designed with surfaces that deflect radio waves away, making them nearly invisible to radar. The world's first stealth production aircraft was the F-117 Nighthawk. The reason that airplane is faceted is a limitation of the computer technology at the time. It's easier to model a finite number of flat surfaces than it is a bunch of curved surfaces. And while the aircraft was a breakthrough at the time, the facets limited the plane aerodynamically. But now, thanks...
The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer built around the Aegis combat system and the SPY-1D multifunction passive electronically scanned array radar. These are considered to be one of the most potent destroyers in the world. These displace around 9,000 tons, and have a length of 505 feet. The Arleigh Burke design incorporates stealth techniques, which make the ship more difficult to detect, in particular by anti-ship missiles. A collective protection system makes the Arleigh Burke class the first US warships designed with an air filtration system against nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare. These warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers and can perform the following roles. 1. Air defense role with their powerful Aegis radar and surface-to-air missiles like SM-2. 2. Anti-submarine warfare, with towed sonar, anti-submarine rockets, and ASW helicopter. 3. Anti-surface warfare with their harpoon missile and strategic land strike role with the Tomahawk missiles. Number 4 The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation, single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. F-22 Raptor is considered to be the most deadly operational fighter aircraft, having combined super crews, super maneuverability, stealth, and sensor fusion in a single weapons platform. Its technology is so advanced that F-22 cannot be exported under American federal law. The Raptor has three internal weapons bays, a large bay on the bottom of the fuselage, and two smaller bays on the sides. These bays can accommodate air-to-air -air as well as air-to-ground attack missiles as well as bombs. The MiG-29 is the KPAF's most modern fighter and North Korea operates approximately 40 of these. F-22 is a generation ahead of MiG-29, and coupled with US fighter pilots' better training and strategy, is expected to quickly get air superiority over North Korean skies. Number 3 The Nimitz-class supercarriers are a class of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy. Nimitz class displaces about 100,000 tons and spans 333 meters long. It is capable of carrying more than 60 fighter jets. The Nimitz strike fighters are primarily F-18 Hornets, and F-18 Super Hornets. These are twin-engine carrier capable fourth-generation multi-role fighter aircrafts designed for land and air attacks. Being nuclear-powered Nimitz class has unlimited range, and hence is capable of projecting power far beyond U.S. coastlines. North Korea has no platform, which can project power like the Nimitz class. Number 2 In case of eventualities, the U.S. may decide to bring Minuteman 3 on the table. For the knowledge of viewers, the Minuteman 3 was the world's first MIRV intercontinental ballistic missiles, and Minuteman series of missile are the only land-based ICBM in United States arsenal. It has an approximate range of 13,000 km and a speed of more than 24,000 km per hour. Minuteman 3 can carry a maximum of three warheads with a cumulative weight of 1,150 kg. So a single missile can target three independent locations. North Korean missile have much smaller range and the missile tests have been unsuccessful many times, showing that it has long way to go before mastering this technology. Number 1 The Ohio class is a class of nuclear-powered submarines that is considered to be one of the most lethal platform in the world. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines and 4 that were later converted to guided missile submarines. 
The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. The Ohio class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy having a displacement of 16,764 tons. It has a range of 1,100 kilometers and carries 24 Trident submarine launched ballistic missiles. Each of these missiles has 12 MIRF nuclear warheads, and each of these warheads have explosive power equivalent of 300 to 475 kilotons of DMT. This lethal destructive power makes Ohio class ballistic missile submarines the most potent assets of US forces. North Korea has no platform even somewhat close to this.